In this video, I want to address a very important question that gets asked by new raw feeders all the time, and that is whether or not ribs are safe to feed. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Scott the Dog Dad from DogDadOfficial.com and if this is your first time on the channel, please make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the little bell notification icon so that you get notified when I put out raw feeding videos. What do you think? Do you think that raw ribs are safe to feed in a raw diet? Let me know below. Okay, so are raw ribs in a raw diet safe to feed? Like so many other things in this whole raw feeding genre, yes and no. Feeding ribs is one of those things that's going to be different for every single dog depending on a few different factors that you need to take into account. Here are four things that you need to consider when feeding ribs. Number one, which is more of a suggestion really than something to consider, and that's observation. With any type of raw meaty bone and a raw diet in general, I cannot recommend highly enough to supervise every single meal, every single time. And this includes everything from dinner to breakfast to recreational bones. Number two, what kind of ribs are they? Some ribs are going to be significantly more dense than others. As an example, pork ribs are significantly less dense than something like a deer rib, an elk rib, a cow rib, anything like that. Those larger animals are going to have significantly more dense ribs than a smaller animal like a pig. Not that pigs are small animals. <laughs> Number three, your dog's size. In the same way that some ribs are going to be right or wrong for your dog based on that rib's density and its source, whether it was a pig, a cow, etc., there are also some ribs that are going to be right and wrong for some dogs, depending on the dog's size. For example, a pork rib may be a perfect fit for a dog the size of a German Shepherd maybe even down to as small as an Australian Shepherd. However, a pork rib with its size, and depending on how that pork rib was cut, may not be appropriate for a dog as large as, say, a Great Dane, because it's a choking hazard. Potentially, each individual dog is different. That's just one example of a way that you need to take your dog's size and their behaviors and habits into account. Number four, what are you feeding that rib for? Meal content? or a recreational bone. Depending on the size of the dog and the dog's habits and behaviors, and depending on the size of the rib and the source of that rib, whether it's a pork rib, a beef rib, it may be more or less appropriate for one of those things. More or less appropriate for a meal, or more or less appropriate for a recreational bone. For example, it's gonna be a really hard time for a dog the size of, say, a chihuahua, to use a pork rib or a beef rib for bone content in their diet because it's going to be really difficult to get it broken down and get it into their system. However, that same beef rib, as an example, may be an amazing source as a recreational chew for mental stimulation as well as dental benefits. Always observe and supervise your dog with bones and raw food meals as a whole, especially if it's something new that they've never had before. Consider the ribs source, whether that came from a pork, elk, deer, beef, and so on. Consider your dog's size, behavior, and habits, whether they're a gulper or not. And ask yourself why you're providing that rib. Are you providing that rib to give bone content in your dog's daily meals, or are you providing it as a recreational bone? Keeping these things in mind is going to let you do a better job and a more educated job on deciding whether or not a rib is safe or not safe to feed your dog. To learn more about or even get started with raw feeding, make sure to check out my free 7 simple steps to raw feeding and other raw feeding resources in the description box below. But most importantly, remember that you don't have to be perfect to be an amazing dog owner. You just have to do your best every day and try to improve as you go forward. Peace.